Hi, I'm Jessica Rogers, president of the Pacific Palisades Residents Association. Over four months ago, we stood at Will Rogers Beach and declared that there would be no homeless encampments at our beaches and parks. Today, the city administrative office announced that they had concluded their feasibility study of the beaches and parks in District 11 and decided that Will Rogers Beach, Dockweiler Beach, Mar Vista, and Westchester Park were not feasible sites to build tiny homes. This news is a huge relief to all residents of the district that were risking seeing their lives devastated by this evidently poor thought out motion created by Councilman Mike Bonin and seconded by Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas. We must, however, remember that although we have avoided some catastrophes to, to play out from this motion, we are far from being able to claim any victory when we have virtually no public safety in our district and have thousands of people living in utter despair on our streets. We must continue to unite and demand a change in the direction of our leadership. We cannot tolerate policies that put everyone in our district at risk of their physical and emotional safety. The horrors of Venice Boardwalk, meth zombie violence and crime fiasco that have traumatized residents and the true repercussions of the poorly handled crisis in Venice on behalf of our leadership are yet to be determined. The motion cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, not to mention the time and stress that it put on our community because we have a humanitarian crisis on our hands. In addition to the COVID pandemic, we have a meth epidemic and the spread of many diseases within the homeless population. Our frontline service representatives combating the despair of people experiencing homelessness are risking their lives while the city continues to allow people to live in squalor on the streets. Now is the time to recognize all leaders who stand up for reasonable, compassionate solutions to the humanitarian crisis. When we end bad policies, we end bad outcomes. We have a long road ahead of us. Let's put our efforts together today so that we can assure we have the right leadership in place that will allow for Los Angeles to heal and once again be known as the thriving city and where it's more advantageous to the financial interests of the city to keep people off the streets than it is to keep them suffering. It's your voice and your vision that creates our city. Make it loud, make it clear, and thank you for showing up.